What if Deku had Blobby's powers from my, I meant Big Hero 6? Now, if you never knew about Blobby's powers, he could turn stuff into anything. Now, we're just going to give Deku this one thing, though. If he thinks about it, that if he thinks about it, though, his body turns into it. He can turn his body into anything. He can turn half his body into, like, a... It's like, let's say, as long as he knows the substance, as long as he knows what, um... He just has to turn into it. So, like, say he wants to turn his arm to carbon. Done. Arm steel. Done. Like, all that stuff. Now, let's go to Deku's childhood. So, let's say Deku was born, and he was born normal for a while. When he got to, like, the round where the cork pills developed, though, he actually turns into, like, this blob thing with his skin. So, you have all this. He would look purple with green eyes, and his mom would say, well, this must be a quirk, though. And he can't turn this off or on. It's like a mutation quirk now. You see, oh, mutation quirks are, like, permanent, though, and they're, like, when you born. Shut the fuck up. Okay? And second thing, I saw all my I saw my videos. Guess what, guys? We have heard 31 subs. Ha, beat that, bitch. Ha ha, YouTube, you're a slut. And I will defeat you sluts everywhere. And let's check C. Uh, Mewtwo. Seems like you guys want Mewtwo's. That sounds really good. Now, can we get the 96... Views on this one too. Now I've seen only got 34 views. I should have at least 34 subscribers. Or at least 36 subscribers. I'm not saying you have to. But like could you guys please subscribe though. And let's get back to this. So Inko takes Deku to the quirk doctor. To check see what's his quirk. And the doctor says he has a mutation quirk called Blobby. And Blobby Mutationist. Or something. So Deku, like, they tell him that, um, he can turn his body into, like, any substance or, like, liquid or solid. So Deku thinks, so, his, the doctor tells Deku to turn, like, asks him about his chocolate. Like, does he like chocolate? And he says yes. And Deku's thinking about chocolate, so his hand turns into chocolate. He says, Oh, cool. So he bites the chocolate, and it's the exact same. So, when the buff, when the chocolate's bitten, though, he, like, he starts eating the chocolate, and his mom tells him to stop, so he does. And he thinks of, like, just imagining your hand, and, like, turns back to his normal hand. And he's saying, cool. And when he does get to preschool, he's, like, a blob, though, and... Baka would, like, make fun of him, and he would, like, turn, he would talk to Baka and stuff. And you can see in this picture, he turned himself into cookie dough. He can turn himself mostly anything, and this is the evil version of him, a clone. And you can see his weakness to lightning, so, yeah. I think it's lightning. I think he doesn't have any weaknesses, but we're just saying he has lightning, because I've seen this in the photo. I've seen the series, so don't say, Oh, Marvin, he, I haven't seen the series. Fucking watch the series. I'm so fucking aggravated people don't watch the series that much. If you guys do, then sorry. And this is what Bloppy in the series, his human form was, and he can't turn it off, so like some mutation quirk. So, when he's like, let's see... In middle school, he actually, he's the sex saying though he's like, um, his, he can like force his blob to not like sag and stuff like that, it would just merely stick. And, well, let's say he can't like, in the future, he can't turn his body back into like normal human arms, so he's like stuck like that for like a long time now. And he mostly doesn't really have to eat anything, so like Inko... Really thinks that he should eat stuff, but like it really doesn't matter because he can just not eat. And well, it's the end of middle school, and Bakugo actually blows up Deku's notebook. And well, Deku gets um, really mad by this though, and he actually like um, attacks not like attacks him, but like actually like gets his blob and like turn. Like, actually burn Bakugo's shoes by using some acid that doesn't burn, um, 
concrete and stuff. Like, he can make his own formulas. So, like, he made a formula that burns shoes and nothing else. So, he'd, like, burn Bakugo's shoes off. And he said, what the fuck you did, nerd? And he says, oh, I burned off your shoes, you dumbass. And Bakugo would try to use the explosion. And the teacher would overhear the explosion. And she would stop the fight. And she asked what both happened, though. And he tells him that Bakugo blowed up. Um, Deku's notebook, and they check, and that's true. And Bakugo tells Deku that he acid my f shoes, and they see this, and they say, "Kids, don't do that again." And stuff. So they send um them off though, and Deku's attacked by the slug villain, but this is different. The slug villain is not equal to Deku. So like, the sludge villain sees Deku and says, Huh, maybe I can get in that side of that kid's body. No homo, of course. Sorry. I'm gonna do that every single time a gay-ass um, thing happens in the show. So, Deku is like, the, the, um, the sludge villain's trying to get into Deku, but like, anything that en enters Blobby's, um, skin, Stomach, it like immediately turns to acid. So then the sludge villain would try that, and like his skin, his slime or something, he's like getting acidized. And like he's trying to get him, he's like, he's getting out of him and saying, What the fuck are you? And he turns his like, Deku uses his arms to like turn himself into like an attack helicopter. I assume my gender is an attack helicopter. Like he turns like self into like a smaller version of an attack helicopter. And he would set off his slime, so like it would cover the sludge villain. So his slime would actually can cover people, even if they're like slime like him. And um, he would actually capture the sludge villain by using like all that slime that's covering the sludge villain. It would actually like he would make it into a steel ball. And um, All Might would be there, and he says, "I am here." And he sees that Deku. Is like a slime guy, and he says, "Stop villainy." And he says, "Well, all my, I'm not a villain." Though he says, he shows him that this is the sludge villain. So he actually picks up the steel, and he shakes it around a little bit. And here's the sludge villain. And he says, "How did you did that?" And he tells him that he has um, blobification, where he can turn his skin into anything, and well, he can turn his skin into anything and shape sets into stuff. And, well, All Might tell, he has his All Might can he sign his, um, notebook. And All Might would do that, and he would get the steel ball. Now, Deku would say, oh, I really, um, he tells him that, um, All Might does have a container, so, like, he actually makes, um, Deku makes the container, like, he makes it spill a little bit, like, all the sludge villain in that beaker. And the steel would turn back into himself. And All Might saying impressive. Maybe that kid can be my successor. And All Might goes away. And um, Deku actually walks though. And let's say the sludge villain does get out. Because he figured out that if that kid can transform to anything like Shave Shift. I can do the exact same thing. So he actually, like, tries to, like, um, move around a lot, though, and, like, break out the glass. And he does, though, really fast. And Sludge gets out, and Bakugo gets infected. And Deku hears a loud boom and stuff, though, and it's Bakugo and Sludge Villain, though. And Deku sees this, and he, like, transforms to, like, a giant, like, spider. And he's firing his mucus at the Sludge Villain. But he's actually shooting at Bakugo, and he tells Bakugo to not swallow it, and he doesn't. And Bakugo's like in this no steel... Homo. Oh yeah, no homo, of course. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And Bakugo doesn't swallow it, no homo as such. And, well, he's like in this bubble steel ball thing. And he tells all the programmers now they can attack Bakugo. So they do, and... And it touches, attack the sludge villain, and they actually defeat him. And Bakugo's still not like bubble thing. He tells that nerd to get him out of there, so he does. 
and he turns back to his little small blob form. And the heroes are like berating him for using his quirk, but they say good job for saving that kid though. And All Might speaks to Deku impersonally though. Because actually All Might got to save the kid like in the last strike. So he tells that kid that um I want you to tomorrow morning at five sharp to come at the beach though. For like training in secret because nobody hears this. And he says of course. So then he goes away. And Deku um goes home and his mom say, Are you okay though? And she sees this. And when he hugs somebody, he actually like his slime gets all over people. So he has to actually suck it all back up though. And well Deku five AM sharp, he gets there. And Transformers with cool. But Deku gets there five AM sharp though and all Might would ask that, how do you, like, eat, though? And he would tell him that he technically doesn't have to eat at all. And I don't know if this is truly true, but, like, I've seen him, like, when he eats things, it immediately turns into, like, acid and, like, combines with his form or some bullshit. And, well, he eats... He shows All Might that he gets, like, a big pile of trash in a ball. And he actually, like, eats it and turns to acid in, like, in, like, a way. And... All Might, All Might would say, good job for, like, that demonstration and stuff. So he tells him that, can you turn back to normal? And he said, nope, it's a mutation quirk. And, well, Deku would say, like, this kid continues to bully me and calling me a villain and stuff like that. And, well, All Might would grab his, um, what? See this? Yeah. Sorry, guys, I have to wait for a while because my dumbass brother went white trash in this. You know you could have did that right, white kid? Oh, white, you have to be. Sorry, guys, for that. Um, grandma's abusing my brother now. So, yep. Thanks, my little brother. Sad ass. Sorry. So... Um, All Might would grab his children and say, good, like, you're not a villain, stuff like that. And Deku would be working, like, Deku would show his, like, armor and stuff like that. He, and All Might would ask, hey, what's your suit anyway, though? And he says, well, technically, I am the suit. And he asks, his, what's his weakness? And he says, it's just electricity. But, like, I think no villain in the League of Villains have electricity, so we're just going to have to make up a villain that has electricity. <clears throat> and, well, All Might would say that you should be working on one, because, like, I mean, electricity is really not, like, I know there's one kid in class one day that has electricity, so if he does find he would get an advantage, but, like, when he turns his form to something else, like, steel, it would be, like, weakness to it, so he thinks of his idea, so he makes, like, so when he fights people, he actually turns some of his body into, like, steel and stuff that, like, electricity can't shock him with it. And, well, All Might says that we need to clean up the beach. So they clean up one-fourth of it, actually. And they think, um, that's all for today. And he returns home. And, well, that's it. And... He continues on with his though, until they would tell him that, All Might would tell him that, we're almost done cleaning up this beach, and they have what, they have done three-fourths of it, and now they're cleaning up four-fourths of it, so if you guys don't know what fractions are, they're just 25% of it each. So they have done 75% out of 25%, so now they're doing all of it. But now, Deku gets the rest of it, and you're asking where all this stress is going. He's eating them, of course. Sorry, guys, I had to fuck off my brother, because Susan's a little bitch. And, well, Deku says we're finally done, though. And some, um, some people were actually watching them when they were cleaning up the beach each day, though. So, like, all my, everyone would be staring at All Might and them, though, and All Might tell the kid to run. So, like, a lot of paparazzi would be, like, trying to take photos of them, photos of them. 
and um, they would start running really fast, though. Like, not fast enough to, like, make, like, sand go up, like, just running a lot. And Papa Rusty was trying to take pictures of All Might and the kid. And they actually ditches the Papa Rusty. And All Might turns to, like, a small mode. And he says, well, you're not like All Might, though. And he says, yes, I'm a skinny version of him. Yeah, 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 all that stuff. And I think All For One would, I meant one, All Might's quirk would work with Deku's. So, like, he plucks the hair out of him and tells him to eat it. And he says, e being serious, right, man? And he says that the only way to white people. Jeez, no. Sorry, guys. So, he would tell him that, I think you're a great candidate for my quirk, though. So, he eats the hair to get his quirk. Let me, let me just say one thing only. Let me get this right. Your quirk works on... Giving your DNA to somebody. So, ate Deku could ate your teeth, hair, dick, no homo and such, semen. The song, <laughs> Yeah, all that bullshit. The dude, the dude. I want you to just do that though, you gay ass convert. Or he could eat your skin or any facial hair you have. Am I getting this right, guys? So, all my cub is fucking eco. Then Deku could got the quirk immediately, and no Inko would get technically get the quirk on and weird bullshit. Sorry. So he gets the quirk and he says, "I don't feel anything." It takes a long time to like assemble with it, and he tells him that we have to get to the hero um UA. So All Might jumps in the air though, and Deku actually turns to a giant spider to, like, get to UA, but All Might gets there first, like, 30 minutes further, and Deku turns to, like, this little spider, and, like, on the roof, and he's jumping on the roof and stuff, and then he turns normal. He's close to UA, so he turns back to normal, and he's walking, and Deku would, like, try to, like, force his slime thing would not, like, drip off, though, and, like, um... To slide to, like, not drip off, though, and, like, make a mess. So, like, he can do that, though. It's, like, a skinny, like, he would be, like, this. But not, like, some of it dripping still because he can't control it full way. And, well, he falls. No, no, let's just say he gets there. I think I screwed that fuck up. So, like, he gets there, and they tell him about all the robot stuff. And, well, uh, All Might's there, though, and... They go outside and, like, go into the, the field of robots. And, um, everyone says go. He says go and stuff. And they get there. And, well, Deku actually, like, destroys some robots by, like, eating them. Or, like, changing his, um, skin slime thing to, like... He, turn, he turns himself into, like, a battle axe. Like, an axe stone, like, starts, like, destroying the robots left and right that come near him, though. And the uh, um, Zero Pro Robot comes, and he actually does one thing only, only. He actually turns into a giant spider again, and like a big spider though, and like he could be squashed by the um, the um, Zero Pro Robot. So he actually starts attacking the Zero. He actually attacks the Zero Point Robot a little bit, but like getting his substance like. Hold the zero point robot in place, and he's a little girl, um, Machaku. So he had to like rip some of the stuff off of him to like create a like small version of him to like help Machaku, and he does. And well, she would look say, um, thanks. He would get her to that, um, he would save her a little bit and like get her out of the way. And he says I have to finish this, so he turned, so he forced the little slime to turn to steel. And the steel actually forced the robot to not move at all, so then some of it gets into the core, and let's say the core and the slime don't, like, mix, so, like, it makes a chemical compound to blow up immediately, and the steel gets melted into melted steel, but it still has slime in it. So then he gets all the slime back, though, and he puts a chocolate on that thing, and, well, um... He goes home.
that's it. So he waits for like three weeks, uh, a few days, and he gets in UA, and All Might would say, you did um, a terrible, you did a great job, kid, and stuff like that. And, well, he would say, you did really good, you got, a, you get, like, you're immediately passing in the, the um, UA, and he's so excited, and he tells his mom that he's in UA, and he tells her, and she says, great, and she really didn't have to spend money on Deku, like, money-wise, like, food and stuff, but, like, she thought so, and, like, it was grateful. Deku could still taste stuff, but, like, really wouldn't do anything. So, he gets there to UA, and he walks there, and, well, let's say he trips, and he can't save himself, so Chaka touches his slime, and let's say gravity does work on him, but, like, his slime's falling, the way he's falling in the air a little bit, and, and what the heck, though, and she says, sorry for using my quirk, though, and she turns it off. And she said, oh, isn't, aren't you that kid that saved me from the Zero Point Robot? And he would say, yeah. And they would be talking when they get in the building, though. And he would ask, what's your quirk, though? And he would say, it's a mutation quirk that allows me to throw slime on things. No homo. Come on. <laughs> yeah, on things. And to, like, turn them to different materials. Oh, so that's how you made, like, that weird steel in that Zero Pro robot. And, like, everyone could have saw the steel, though. So, now they get into Class 1A, and Ida's there. And Ida says, I'm 10 to Ida, and he says, I know, and stuff like that. And Ida would say, um, aren't you that kid that, like, destroyed the Zero Pro robot? And I would say, yeah, you are that kid, though. And, um... Baka would yell out though. No, it's just a sludge villain's de um um son or some bullshit. And like and we would stare at Baka. He says, What? Fight me then. So then um nobody everyone's like is fucking mad at Baka for saying that bullshit. And um Miss Trizala gets there and says shut the hell up or some bullshit. And fuck off, Susan. You won't demonetize me because I have two channels. Three, actually. I'm not telling you guys. Go to my Discord to know about my channels. Cause none Susan will never join my channel because I will immediately block her. You guys tell me if she's a person that's spying on YouTube. Tell me, and I will block her off of Discord. She tries to join again. Block her. Continuously blocking her. Mm -hmm. Tell me. What's the happy Fuck off! They can't hack Discord, cause Discord's the best app ever, and always suck a penis! That's Susan! Susan's a hoe! Ah, no homo, of course, my guys. And girls. Or gals, or some bullshit. Sorry. So, for having a spasm. So, Deku, um, Baku goes first and gets 700 meters. And... Wait, doesn't... Yeah, Baka goes next, and Ochaka goes next, and she gets Infinity, and Deku throws it, but, like, the slime's, like, still connected to the ball, so he, like, actually tries to throw it, and then he turns the slime to, like, come back to him. So the ball goes really far, not, like, far enough to, like, it defeats Baka's score by, like, 100 more points. So, like, 800 points. That poor ball in Infinity. And... Um, Mr. Aizawa said good, and Mr. Aizawa would actually be, like, a lot of funnier in this one, so, like, he would actually high-five the people that we get, like, highest scores. So, he high-fived Ochaku, he would high-five Bakugo, Bakugo wouldn't take it, he would flick that from Mr. Aizawa. Um, he would high-five Deku, but, like, the slimes, like, connect to him, and, like, he says, wait, and, like, he gets the slime off of him. And, let's say the slime can, like, actually can't be far away from Deku or it'll return. So, like, any art slime that's still on the, the, um, the ball would, like, come back to him. And, well, when Baku, when Baku sees that Deku's getting a high five from Mr. Aizawa, Baku would actually jump in front of Mr. Aizawa and, like, blow some, um, the sludge off of him. 
And he his sludge would immediately return to him, though. And he says, what the hell is wrong with you, Bakugo? I met Kachan. And he says, stop fucking me calling that, though. Okay, the king explosion. And... Now we're gonna let a bicker match, so when Bakugo says that, I'm gonna blow you up sky high, and he says, try me. So, Mr. Izzo actually grabs, uh, Bakugo with his nuts and Deku, but, like, it does nothing. So Deku just turns into acid, and it burns off Mr. Izzo's rope. And... Um... Mr. Izzo says, stop fucking bickering before I, like, expel both of you. And, well, they get back into the weird crowd thing, though. And, well, it's the next race, then. It's the race. So, Deku actually turns himself to, like, a cheetah. Like, into, like, a slime. A sl- you know, like, a bug that's, like, one of the fastest bugs in the world? Then you know faggots should be the abominations of sciences, like Karens do? And Karens, go fuck yourself. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, if you guys hear that music, I'm playing Red Dead Redemption 2. John, I'm already done with the game. So you guys already fucked up. And, well, I am actually now, I have a bounty over 1,500, so I'm a god. And murdered 1 million civilians already. So, Deku would turn into, like, this cheetah. He would, like, make a hybrid of the two, so, like, cheetah, um, beetle... And, like, he's not faster than Ida, so, like, he would get second place, of course, and Bakugo would get third. And Bakugo would actually try to explode some of um, the slime off of Deku's leg, and it worked a little bit, but then Deku turns to, like, this ball of slime, and Deku would say, Nice try, Kachan, and he would say, Fuck off! And he would get second place, and he would turn back to his normal form, and into like a slime form so this is where Mr. Arzal say good job though all of you and stuff and I think there's no more but then let's say they have a sparring match so like Mr. Arzal went check to see what their combat abilities are in this what if so he tells Deku versus Bakugo and Deku technically wins by like so Bakugo would try to explode some of the slime off the of Deku he exploded a lot of it off until like his leg was the only thing living still and Mr. Izawa would say, um, Bakugo has not won yet. And he says, what? And until all the slime is off the mat, you can only win by that way. And he's gonna explode the last slime of it, but, like, all the slime comes back to that one foot. And Bakugo is, like, covered all in slime. And Deku would say, aha. And he would, like, get all the, like, rip off his head off of the slime, though, and, like, put it on the mat. And he would turn his slime to steel. Now, you know steel can melt into s- melted steel. But Bakugo's heat is not strong enough to, like, magma steel or some bullshit. So then he can't get off, so he pushes the steel coffin thing on him and, like, pushes him off the arena. And he turns the steel back to slime. And he wins. And, um, Mr. Izzo says Deku wins. M- Azuku Midoriya has won, and this was a sparring match, and he would write, like, good fighting, Bakugo, good fighting too, but, like, has weaknesses, um, too arrogant, too cocky for Bakugo, and nothing from Deku, because he's technically a god, because he can't be defeated, unless there's something. So, I know people are going to comment down below, oh, Blobby can't do this bullshit, or Melted Steel is, like, not Blobby's thing. My fucking what if, so fuck off. I fucking hate when people do this stuff. Uh, it's a good thing. I'm doing, I'm gonna do after this one. What if Deku didn't, all my didn't say Deku from the Slides villain? It's just gonna be really good though from the villain thing. Now, Deku, um, Deku actually, like, um, they tell her what So there's not Deku versus Ida, and Ida would try to, like, burn off the, um, sludge off of. Deku, and, like, the sludge would, like, turn to, like, evaporate into, like, rain clouds and stuff like that, and he'd say, yeah, I figured out your weakness, and he would say, try again, though, and he's actually, like, under Ida, 
and he would like force the slime to get eat its engines, like to stop the engines from like working a little bit though. And everyone knows that in the manga, you can just rip out the engines and make them stronger though. And Ida really can't move because he turned his um sludge into steel again. More like concrete milks, but concrete steel and like a little bit of soft padding or something to not hurt him. And um uh, Ida would try to punch Deku when he's like still a little slime still there. And Ida would like get um Ida's feet are now like stuck completely, and Mr. Aizawa tells Deku he has won, because Ida's mobilized now, so you can win by, like, a lot of ways. And, let's say everyone else gets, like, a good score and stuff like that. Oshaku does get a good score. Mineta hears about this, and Mineta, he's pervy. So, he goes like, up a girl, and he says some pervy things, and Mr. Aizawa says, what the fuck's wrong with this kid? And, well, the girl's, what the fuck's wrong with this guy? And he tries to actually, Manette tries to grab her boobs. <laughs> and what does she does? She actually rounds out, kicks him in the face. And he's almost off the mat though. And he uses his sticky balls. Please. The homo, right? Ear raid. Copyright. Sorry. And, well. He did win because his sticky balls would like get on the girl's boobs, <laughs> and it would get like everywhere. And like, um, he would like everyone girls saying, "Jesus Christ, this guy's a pervert," and bullshit though. And this is where we're gonna leave off for here. But like, Deku would like Deku's like supreme and stuff. Manette did get. Technically, he didn't get expelled, but like Mr. Ajao said, Minette's expelled. But he's still there, and he goes to the office, and Minette get take this and go. And he says, I only went to teach you on death fields, though. And he tells him that to not be pervy, or I'm gonna kick him out of my class forever. And he says, Yes, sir, though. Like, he's still a pervert. Even I know what perverts. There's three stages of perverts in Marvels normal perverts that just look at stuff on the internet and don't like assault girls. Perverts that actually look at girls, but they don't talk to them or, like, touch them anyway. They don't, like, stare at them really hard, though. And level 3 perverts will be, like, people that stare at them, talk to them a lot about their friends, and, like, actually try to grope them with their boobs. Fuckers. And, well, this is where we're gonna have to leave it off here, and if you guys want to see the Sludge Villains versus Deku again, um, tell me that, because I actually have something in store with the Sludge Villains versus Deku. And, guys, doesn't this look like some Mike Recadania bullshit? All Might Rally here and the, the Nomu. And, I wanted to do a Nomu after this one, then the Sludge Runners and bullshit, but never mind. So, this is gonna be on up here. This is Shadow Master, and you just stay not like John Martian. And you can actually turn John Martian full bald and just drink up some hair and things. And they actually regenerate his hair really quick. Bobby turns into a dragon, you idiot! You're what?